In this lesson, we're going to talk through how to add um, and subtract decimal numbers. So uh, let's start with the example on the left. We're simply adding 3.7 and 5.8. So the first thing we're going to do with both addition and subtraction is we are going to stack them vertically just like we would um, if they were whole numbers. Um, and we're going to line up place values just like we would if they were whole numbers and also of course line up those decimal points so it'll look like this 3.7 plus 5.8 and so then we basically just add as if we were adding 37 plus 58 without the decimal point but we'll just go directly down from where the decimal point is and make sure it's there in the sum as well. So the first thing to do is just put that decimal point there and then start adding. 7 plus 8 is 15 so we're going to put the 5 here and carry the 1 and then 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 is 9 so our answer is 9.5. Alright let's take a look at this example we have 54 Point seven three two, and we're adding two point zero six. So first thing to notice is it's okay if um, a particular number has fewer digits than another number that you're trying to add to it. So you could either you could leave the spot blank. If you want to put a zero there, you can. It really doesn't matter. As long as your place values are lined up, you're going to be fine. So 2 plus 0 is, of course, 2. 3 plus 6 is 9. 7 plus 0 is 7. And I kind of went out of order um, from what I just said. I said to put the decimal point down there first, and I probably should have done that, but I drop it straight down now. And then 4 plus 2 is 6. And then 5 plus 0 is 5. So our answer is 56.792. All right. So let's do a couple of subtraction problems. We're going to set subtraction problems up in the same way. We'll go ahead and stack them, make sure our place values are lined up. Okay, so I can take, uh, let me drop the decimal point down first, then take 9 minus 2 is 7. 3 is smaller than 7, so I'm going to need to borrow. So I will borrow 1 from the 7, and then this will become 13. So 13 minus 7 is 6, and then 6 isn't quite big enough, so I will borrow 1 from the tens place. So I'll have 16 minus 8 is 8. So my answer is 8.67. Alright, now finally let's look at this last example. This one's definitely worth doing because it brings up um, kind of an important issue that often happens when you're subtracting. And that is 16.5 is definitely a larger number than 0 0.438, so I should be able to just subtract in the normal way. But notice that there's a lot more digits to the right of the decimal in 0 0.438. So while over in this addition problem, when we had a different number of digits in each number, I said you could either put a 0 in there or you could leave it blank. Well here, I really should put zeros up above this 3 and this 8. Because we understand that 16.5 is the same as 16.50 which is the same as 16.500. So we'll put those zeros there and now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do some borrowing so that I can take 8 away from what's above it. So 0 is not big enough so I go to the next digit to the left. Of course I can't borrow from that so then remember we go to the next two together and we say alright let's borrow from 50. So when I borrow from 50 that has to become 49 and then that'll allow me to make this a 10. So we get 10 minus 8 is 2. 
9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. Drop my decimal point down. 6 minus 0 is 6, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So our answer here is 16.06.